everyone! So obviously I am not in my normal environment right now. That's because I'm on the other side of the country. Um, I came home to visit my parents in New Jersey and while I was here in my childhood bedroom, I thought that I would do part two of the jigsaw puzzle collection video. So if you missed part one, I showed you guys all of the jigsaw puzzles that I have at my apartment in LA, where I live most of the time. But since I'm home for a little bit, I thought that I would take you through the giant, massive jigsaw puzzle collection that I have here. However, I kind of, um, underestimated exactly how many there are and I realized that if I tried to put them all in one video we would literally be here for like 45 minutes and as much as I love puzzles as much as some of you guys probably love puzzles I don't think anyone wants that so instead I'm gonna break it up into part two part three and part four uh, part two which is this video will be all of the puzzles that I have that are over a thousand pieces and then part three will be all of the puzzles that are exactly a thousand pieces and part four will be all of the puzzles under a thousand pieces and i think i'm just going to start with the really big ones and just work my way down so first up we have this nine thousand piece um just massive a box. This is the biggest puzzle I've ever done. And the reason why it's so light is because this is also the only puzzle that I think I still have put together. Normally for the like thousand piece ones, basically as soon as I finish it, I take it apart because I want to be able to do it again. This, whoa. God, the box just like fell open. I'm gonna put the box down and just hold the lid. <laughs> This, as I was saying, this one, um, I kind of don't think I'm ever gonna do it again. So I think it's like somewhere under a couch, somewhere around here, still just all put together in different sections. But anyway, I did this 9,000 piece puzzle between my sophomore and my junior years of college because I had a summer where I was doing an internship for like three days a week. So I had a whole lot of free time outside of that. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do a giant puzzle. So the design is this like zodiac pattern. This middle like round part was actually, I'm not gonna say easy, cause it did take a while, but relatively straightforward. Cause you have a lot of different colors and textures going on. All of these stars on the outside, they took forever because it's just so many like such giant sections of just the exact same color, the exact same pattern all over. So fun fact, if you're curious how long it took, I worked on it for a summer, so like two or three months, but I actually wrote down the exact time that I started and stopped each time that I like sat down to work on it. And so then I could just add up all of those times and know exactly how much puzzling time went into it. So do you want to guess? I'm going to give you guys just like a second now to guess and then I'm going to tell you and then in a comment you have to tell me if you thought it was higher or lower than what I'm going to tell you was the actual puzzling time. Okay, everyone has their guess? It took me, if I had sat down and worked on it straight through with no breaks, it would have been just over three weeks of puzzling time. It was like three weeks and a couple hours. So yeah, three weeks of my life were spent doing this, but it was so worth it. It was so fun. And also now I have a fun fact. I can say that I've done a 9,000 piece puzzle. Oh, it also comes with this like giant poster so that you can really see all of the detail and kind of see what you're putting together, which is really nice. I mean, if you're into the Zodiac, you could both have the puzzle and then also just have this poster and hang it on your wall. All right, my next biggest puzzle that I have is this one, which is actually really heavy because all the pieces are in here. This is a 6,000 piece puzzle. It's called Butterfly Rainbow. It's by the brand Suns Out. I did this when I was in high school. So it's just so colorful and so pretty. I love the design. All of these butterflies in here, they took quite a while to do because it's like the texture is so, busy in there. But actually what I found out when I did this is that often when you have a giant jigsaw puzzle, instead of having a unique cut for all of the pieces all over the whole thing, what they'll do is they'll have the same cut 
like for the for this quadrant and then mirrored over here or sometimes just the same one repeated and then the same one repeated down here and the same one repeated so you have four basically of the same cut of the puzzle and then going straight through you have different pieces that connect the two like that connect all of the different quadrants together. Does that make sense? So when I did this one it was easy to just find all of those different pieces to make kind of the different quadrants and then fill it in from there. I think this is also the one where in high school I did this photography project where I got one of my friends to model for it and I was like part way through finishing this so I took this really nice photo of her like sitting down working on the puzzle. So just replace her with me and that's basically what I did all through high school. So the next biggest one that I've done is a 5,000 piece puzzle, but I can't actually show it to you because I don't know where it is. In my room right now, like besides this nice blank wall that you see behind me, there are just boxes and boxes of like old stuff of mine. And so it's gonna be somewhere in there. I didn't feel like trying to dig it out. So I'll just put pictures on screen of what this puzzle looks like. But basically I did this puzzle when I made moved to San Francisco after I graduated college. I was working at YouTube at the time and I was only 20 when I moved to San Francisco, which meant that I couldn't like go out to bars or anything because you have to be 21 here in America. So for the first few months that I lived there, I had basically no social life. Also, I had no friends out there. So what I did was a 5,000 piece puzzle. So similar to that one that I actually do have here, I have this 3,000 piece puzzle, which I actually think I've done this one twice now. Um, it's really fun. It's a very similar like underwater scene, but obviously only 3,000 pieces and not 5,000 pieces. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned this, but all of these Ravensburger puzzles, um, I have a lot of them. They're my favorite puzzle brand. It's just super high quality pieces, like really nice cardboard. And you're gonna see as I go through like this video and then especially the next one with all the thousand piece puzzles, I have a lot of Ravensburger puzzles. I also enjoy, okay, this is really nerdy, but Ravensburger got a little shout out on the show uh, Kimmy Schmidt on Netflix when they're in the basement trying to, I forget what the plot was, but she holds up a puzzle and she's like, we're gonna do this Ravensburger mac and cheese puzzle, except it's so obvious that that's not a real Ravensburger puzzle because Ravensburger puzzle pieces are blue on the back and in the show they weren't and yeah. also just the box design didn't look quite official enough. <laughs> All right, this one is not Ravensburger, but this is the first like really big puzzle that I ever did. So obviously I had been doing like thousand piece puzzles through like middle school and high school. And then I think, I forget exactly when it was, probably somewhere around like freshman year of high school. I was probably like 13-ish. Um, I decided to do this 2,500 piece puzzle, which I did not purchase myself. Somehow my parents just had it in the house. It's this kind of like boring, just wooded scene with this uh, staircase. I would not do this one again because it was so tedious because there was so much greenery and so much of just like the exact same green texture over this entire thing. It took literally forever but when I finished it, I was just very proud and accomplished, but I think I'm gonna give this away to Goodwill or something because I'm never gonna do it again because it's so boring and there are so many better puzzles out there. All right, next I have two 2000 piece puzzles. Again, these are Ravensburger puzzles and I actually got these pretty recently. I've started asking specifically just for a lot of jigsaw puzzles, like for Christmas and my birthday every year, because I spend them here in my parents' house, and I don't, like now that I'm an adult, what am I gonna ask for for Christmas that I can't just buy for myself? So I've just been kind of collecting my secondary puzzle collection here at this house and asking for them for Christmas, and then I do them like over Christmas and leave them here, and then I can do them again the following Christmas. It's a great system that I've worked out. So this one is really fun. It's really colorful, it has all of these different um, like countries symbols and I'll probably be doing this one again over Christmas this year so yeah this one's super super fun and then this one I've only done once because I just got it this previous Christmas but it is all of these like dessert pictures and they're kind of in a grid which is interesting because you can 
build out the grid and then fill in each picture. However, since it's so like blown up because the puzzle is so big, it's actually a lot harder than I expected because you know, like this texture is very similar to this texture up here. And so you don't really know like which one is where it's gonna go. And it just, it took a while, but it was still really fun. Um, I kind of prefer like really bright saturated colors to all of these very pastel colors, but I still liked this one. It was still good. Oh, this is another a really boring one. <laughs> so this is a 1500 piece puzzle and it is called Blue Moon. It's made by the company, oh, White Mountain Puzzles. I have some of those now in, um, in LA. I guess this is kind of one of their older ones. Yeah, this is from 1999. But anyway, it's just this kind of wintry, like snow scene, but it's just kind of boring because there's just so much blue that, you know, you fill in like these houses and then everything else is just a very like dull blue color. So I kind of, now that I have so many other puzzles that I love, kind of don't think I'm gonna do this one again. And finally, this is the very last puzzle for my over a thousand pieces collection. This one is Lakeside Hideaway. It's also 1500. And this one is this just kind of very stylized painting of this beautiful house with a little gazebo and a little fountain. This one's kind of annoying because all of the pieces aren't really just standard jigsaw um, like shapes. These are all just really funky looking pieces and the, since it's so stylized and so painted, it's pretty difficult to do actually. So I like this one and I do like the occasional challenge of trying to do a puzzle with different, differently shaped pieces but I wouldn't say that it's one of my favorites. All right, so um, looking at the time on the camera, I've been talking for 18 minutes just about my over 1,000 pieces puzzles, and that's why I decided to split up this video into multiple pieces because I think we're about all puzzled out for today. So if you missed part one of this video, which is all of the puzzles that I have at my apartment in LA, those are the more kind of modern puzzles. I'll link that video at the end of this one and right down below. So I would love to know in a comment if you have ever done a giant puzzle like this or if you have any questions about doing a puzzle like these. I love talking about jigsaw puzzles, so let's all geek out together in the comments about puzzles. And I think I've kept you here quite long enough. Go get on with your lives, and I'll see you guys next time for part three, which is gonna be all of the exactly 1,000 piece puzzles. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next time.